Hey guys, it's National Deep Dish Pizza Day, and I've never made one before, so I figured that's what I would do with my Sunday. So we've gone out and gotten all the ingredients. Um, so we got Jiffy pizza crust mix that we're gonna make first, because you gotta make the dough before you can do anything. So I've already opened it up, and we're gonna go ahead and pour the dough in to our beautiful KitchenAid mixer here. It's hot pink. And the only thing that goes in there is some water. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Let's see if we can get a good look at that. Another half cup of water. And another box. Um, pizza crust. All right, let's take a look at that. It looks pretty well mixed. Okay, so we've let the dough rise for way more than the five minutes that the box said. Uh, so this is what it looks like right now. So we're gonna go ahead and dump it out on a floured surface here. Ironically, it's a pizza pan. Oh yeah, look at that. And then we just knead it as it gets stuck all over my hands because I didn't flour my fingers like I was supposed to. Do you know what kneading is? I don't. Okay. <laughs> what is kneading? Um, it's where you need it. What, what do I need it to do? Um, you just, I'm um, not sure. Just play with it? No? No. That's a pretty sturdy block of dough we've got there. Yeah. Uh, no. No, because we're going to bake it for two minutes. Okay, so go ahead and put the pan right here. So what we've done is we put some cornmeal down in the pan so that it won't stick to our nice cast iron skillet here. And then we're just gonna put it in there, right? And hopefully, what is going on over there? Okay, so now we're going to see it's nicely finished, uh, just magically like that. And we're gonna poke some holes in it just all over the place so that. So now we're gonna bake this for just a couple minutes um, and then we'll pull it out and put the ingredients in. So we'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna cut up some fresh mozzarella to go along with our, our shredded mozzarella from the box there, because we're fancy. And I've never chopped up a ball of mozzarella before, so this is how I'm doing it. And I don't care if it's not how you're supposed to do it. So. so in case you guys didn't know, uh, what's going on right now is the army is recruiting all the way virtually. So that means you can actually go almost all the way through with joining the army without even stepping foot inside a recruiting office. So you can get your written test done, you can get your job reserved, you can get your whole, your paperwork done. And then once the self-isolation is over, then you can just pop up, take your medical physical, and sign your contract. So I know it's it's a really sucky time out there right now, but we're trucking right along. We've de developed a lot of new procedures so that we can take care of you guys even though we're not physically in our stations. All right, so now that our pre-baking is done, we're gonna use our safety equipment. Grab this bag, just up here. Starting to brown a little bit. Be careful. And that's the good old pre bake right there. We got this garlic butter here that we're going to base the crust with. Don't touch the handle either. Oh, that smells really good.
But make sure your deep dish piece is full. All right, let's take a look at that before we get the sauce in on there. Does that look pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're gonna pour some of our homemade from scratch pizza sauce that uh, Say it I again. made. And this is our homemade pizza sauce. Uh, that I made from scratch before the video started, and then I just poured it in this old uh, glass bottle that I had before. So I'm just gonna go ahead and slap some pizza sauce in there. This is an old family recipe called Buy It at the Grocery Store. So something I learned about Pizza's Pizza is the sauce, unlike normal pizzas, just goes on top of everything else. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna sprinkle some cheese on there for presentation. All right, let's get a final look at the top of the pizza before we put that bad boy in. Hands are quick rinse, All right. Now we're gonna throw this in the oven at 425. We preheated 425 for about 20 minutes. An hour. To an hour. Just kidding. We're gonna put it in there for an hour. Alright, so we're gonna cut into it. Hopefully it's uh done. <laughs> it's just a big pile of soup. <laughs> soup. And now I'm just starving. So it's coming out and we're eating it. No matter how it looks. Oh, that looks really good anyways. You can see where we cut the piece out earlier. Bon appetit. Drop us a pic below to let us know how your pizza turned out today. Thanks for checking us out. Have a great weekend.